How's it going everybody? In this video we are going to jump right into setting up SSH on a Cisco switch. Now there's a couple of things that need to be done before you even get started and the very first thing you need to make sure you do is that the switch name, the host itself, is a unique name. It is not switch. So that's going to be the very first thing you need to do. So to change the host name you type in host name and we're going to say, uh, we'll say switch1. Okay, we, we, inter we uh, uniquely named the switch now. It could be anything other than switch. The second thing you need to do is type in IP domain dash name. Is it dash? Yeah. Um, and you can say, in this case here, I'm going to say Riker. Okay. And it's got to have a domain name. And then what you do from here is you type in the crypto question mark key question mark. And you would then say generate because you're going to generate an RSA key. And you're going to say the, um, you're going to hit the enter. And then it's going to ask you what the module is. Now, uh, for 512 and below, that's SSH version 1. If you need to do SSH version 2, you need to be 768 or bigger. We're going to say 1024 just because I can. That's going to create the RSA key. There it goes. Now what I can do is, now I'm telling that it into the box. So it didn't actually give me the prompt to show me that the SSH is enabled. But if I type in do show log, it should tell me that SSH is enabled. Oh, maybe not. Uh, but if I come down here and I do a show SSH, uh, enter, it's, okay, so it's, uh, show SSH, hmm, alright, um, so anyway, now what I can do, if I was to do, uh, does it show control plane? No, it doesn't do that. So, basically what I need to do now is do a show run pipe begin line. Now I'm going to look down here at the bottom and... Now you'll see line VTY, I have password to Cisco, login local. If I do a show run pipe uh, begin user, you'll see that I have a username and password right here, right? And that's that's completely okay. What I want to do now is I want to come in here and I want to specify that the input on VTY is going to be SSH only. And to do that, you just simply go to line VTY zero space four, and you would say I've been transport question mark is going to be input is going to be SSH and that would allow only SSH connections. I'm, I don't want to do that because I have something was to happen to where the box was to blow up or I was having a problem with something. I don't want that to be the the reason why I can't do it. So um, we're going to go ahead and test it now and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on SSH again and I'm going to load the home switch but this time Instead of doing, uh, I tell them I'm going to do SSH. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And then you get this guy pops up. Now, if this was a brand new uh, launch, then you'd have to log in and you'd have to accept the the uh, uh, the SSL thumbprint. Just hit accept and go. I'm going to type in Rob and Cisco and I'm on the switch. If I do a show users, you're going to see that I'm coming in and give it a second here for it to to finish out. It's actually doing a backwards trace to find out where I'm coming from. It should list my location and my IP address right there, and it does. I've actually logged in twice. And the one that um, is the newer of the two, this is my SSH connection. So if I do a show SSH, I have a connection coming in um, this way here. So SSH version two, and you can tell it's version two because of that's highlighted. So that's pretty much how you would go about doing that. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.